Brooklyn started tonight's game shooting 71% from the field after the first quarter. Meanwhile, the Bucks started 6-20 from the field, and after a 17-point lead for Brooklyn, Milwaukee eventually came back after outscoring them 32-16 in the third quarter. Chris Middleton scored 12 points in that third quarter, and the Bucks eventually outlasted Brooklyn 103-97. Let's go inside the Bucks locker room to talk to Jerry Dully and Giannis about tonight's win and how they were able to come back. I think the biggest thing for us was uh, they shot 70% first quarter, first quarter and a half. We knew that, that they were going to keep that up, but right. for us, we had to get the right stops, um, give them give them credit. But for us, it was just, you know, we uh, stayed within striking distance the whole time. I got hot in the second quarter, and, uh, you know, in the second half, we picked it up. Coach credited you. He said he kind of, you, you gave him a lifeline. You <laughs> kind of kept the team afloat when things weren't going too well. Yeah, it was me tonight. You know, last night it was Juice and Brendan Knight. I mean, for us, it's uh, by committee. Uh, I had a lot of wide open looks early on, made them. Um, and I finally always felt like I was good and a nice rhythm the whole time. They left me a couple times. And yeah. uh, for us, it was just, you know, it's, it's finishing strong before the break. We know what uh, is in front of us, and we're, we're almost there. Are you surprised six games over? A chance to go seven over uh, before the break? I'm surprised uh, if you'd ask me to get in the season. I'm not surprised if you ask me after the first two months of the year where. You know, our, our schedule is so brutal early on. If you can keep your head above water, which we did in that West Coast trip, now we're sitting pretty and we know that we can uh, we can even get even better. It was down 17, but we still keep playing hard. We keep playing with uh, high energy. And uh, that's what we do. So, uh, no matter what the score is, we got to keep playing hard in the defensive end, especially. And uh, try to rebound the ball to run. I think it was kind of a slow start to thanks for They shot you know, 70% in the first half. Oh, yeah, they, they shot amazingly high. No, but I uh, think they shot. Did they shot in the second half 70%? No. 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 So thank God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we know it. The coach uh, tells us to keep playing. You know, uh, we're just down five. They shoot 70%. So that's what they did. We keep playing. Yeah, was white. You got the conference player of the week. Uh, first one you got in your career. Or what was your reaction? Uh, I, I didn't know it. I didn't know it at first. Uh, the coach uh, Jason Kidd came to me and uh, told me congrats. And uh, and that he told me no thank you about it and uh, he told me now you gotta back it up uh, so keep playing hard. The Bucks are now six games over 500 for the first time since the 2009-2010 season. They'll look to get their 30th win on Wednesday when they face Sacramento, and if they do so, that'll be the first time they'll have 30 wins at the All-Star break since the 1990-91 season. And just for the record, I was born in 1993. Inside the Bradley Center, I'm Aaron Johannes for BrewHoop.com.